Kev Edwards Simple Rally here. Uh, today we're going to be having just a quick little go over your rally, just to, to give it like an uh, initial thought and whenever it can be taken as a semi-serious rally game or not, or whenever it's just an arcade game to be played with a pad on a console. Um, yeah, going to keep the AI up. Been playing this for maybe maybe had an hour or two hours on it, uh, sort of working my way through the career, just doing little bits. So done quite a few stages already and got the force feedback and stuff feeling okay yeah uh, probably the best i'm going to get out of it uh, not to say that it's bad um but there we go Bumpy right six into left four and right three into left three opens and right five long so this is just the next stage or event in the career Right five over bump 50. Right six long bumpy. The, the handling isn't too bad. Right four short don't cut 30. I wouldn't say it's Three like right and left four open. super arcade. Like you can lock up on your brakes and you can oversteer and spin and if you do drive the car too hard. Right three short don't cut, and left five into right four opens 150 over bump. Left four keeping 30, right three into left four The long. stages are fairly decent. Some nice character in them. Right five, and right four. Bumps into left six long. Caution right four and break square left. And left five fifty. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see what way you're going though. Kink for one hundred over crack. Oop. Like that. <laughs> Right four, into left three and right four, and left four into kinks for 100. I've got to say though, this uh, Escort, and right pretty fun to drive. It's got a nice and fun feel to it. Over and caution short donut, into left four, 300. Donut. Where's that? Uh, Caution, short donut. Into left four short that's what kind of. Left four short oh. That's what makes it an arcade game when they have like. Well, for me anyway, where they have like stupid flashing lights. Crest into right by 50 and finish. I think I might have killed that at the end there, but see, with that mistake on the hardest difficulty, I, I should shouldn't be winning. Um, but the AI is really inconsistent as well. I can go on another stage now, have an absolute perfect stage. And be like 10 seconds down. Uh, so we'll we'll give it another stage actually. I've only really done the rally, I haven't bothered with anything else so far. Uh, Siberia, I think that's snow, isn't it? Malaysia. So it's got all your usual date rally career type stuff. Um, so you've got to buy your team and buy your cars and update your cars and all that. Typical nonsense. Uh, go through the grind, buy staff. Uh, so, yeah, let's go for... What's that? So I'm just starting to get to the point where you'd have to pay to get into events as well, where the first ones were free. So, two days left on that. Five on that, four on that. So, okay. What did I do then? Okay. So I think this has got two stages anyway. Uh, 
Let's make sure that's on the hardest. Yeah. The car settings. I played around with the settings. Got a nice feel for the car. Oh, I'm not too sure this is the actual. I'm sure it was different when I set it up. In fact, this is more of a tarmac stage, isn't it? So. Yeah, so. I say it's. It's not bad. Anyone who's played WRC 7 and has got any sort of enjoyment out of that will probably get the same enjoyment out of this. I don't think the handling's that much different, to be honest. I wouldn't say it's much more on the arcade side than WRC 7 is anyway. It's got like clutch cage right pattern. Uh, yeah, oh my god, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Into right four. And left four narrows uphill. Into left four thirty. And right Think four like about oh, what? Oh god. Uh oh. well start that again. Yeah, so. Left five tightens. Into right four and left four. Uh, Into right four. See, I like these stages because this reminds me of Yosemite Valley. Into left four thirty. Where I've just been on Aldi. And right four thirty. So it's almost like I'm back on holiday again. Looking left for bears. Uh, left four short. Into right five. And chicane left. And the brake acute hairpin right over gravel. And left three and the right two short. And right three open. Do the graphics are in the left three and crest. Quite funny. Sometimes it looks left three amazing and there's a, a lot of nice detail. I noticed like horses right in the three. distance. One of the stages. And square left wide over the other day. But then sometimes it's the got like a bit right of a four. old school PlayStation feel at times. Right five. Left three. But you've got to give these credit where it's due. Did you? Did you keep on improving all the time? And this is by no means a sim, or right five, nor is it meant five, to be a sim one, either. Right five and left three don't cut. Into right four. Left five. But yet I still think you can get a fair bit of enjoyment out Into of it right as well. Four, don't cut. And caution left five. Brake hairpin right over gravel. Left three long. This escort is a little beast to drive. Right three long. And it's not even upgraded yet, so Kinks I should get nicer to drive once it's upgraded a bit. Left four long fifty. Left four over crest fifty. Hairpin right in the kinks, bumpy 300. Nice detail with the beds. Break, hairpin left. This three. escort needs to be driven in high gears right five to get anything out of it. Right 
Not sure if you can get punches and stuff like you could on uh, WRC7. I doubt it. Yeah, another fun little stage. Well, I shouldn't be winning by that much on the hardest difficulty, though. But, as I say, I can do another stage, be absolutely perfect and get absolutely smashed on it. So it is uh, very inconsistent. I think I've only done one snow rally. So this will be interesting. I've got no... Uh, see how it pairs up. Not a lot of damage. Same deal, you have to pay for your damage and all the obvious stuff. Uh, car settings. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it. Just wanted a bit of bias on the rear instead of the front. Yeah, I think I was locking up there quite a lot. Um, so Siberia, let's give the snow a go. See, I've done one or two of these Siberia ones, and they were actually quite, quite fun, quite enjoyable again. I'm sure, there's a, and I think there's a Mark Two Escort. I think this is the Mark One. Into right five and left four. Seems to have focused a lot more on the on the older cars. There's not many modern day cars in it at all. Which, to be honest, is fine by me. No, it all looks the same. Left three open. And keep left over bump. Into left four, keep middle over bump 50. And right four into left four 50. Left five, 150. What? Oh, that was the game, or my computer right trying to do a, an update or something in the background. And left six into right four short. And left four. Flying here. Into break, hairpin right into left three. Into right four, tighten to three short. Into left three, open long. And right five. And left five, into right three. And left three, into right six. Ooh, bumpy. And 
bump into left three short and right four, and right four over crest, and left three over bump, and then chicane right into bridge, and break square right 100. Nice. Into kink for 50. Four in the bump, and caution left six, bumpy 50. And that was very nice when you... And right five ah. 50. Yeah, cut, click, kick the clutch on this car. Keep left over so I should get it sliding a bit. Finished. Get you out of a couple of hairy situations. Yeah, so... That's a uh, smashed it there. That is a uh, V Rally. I say it's. I think you'll get out of it what you put in. Um, if you turn, if you get it and you expect the next day at Rally, you're going to be disappointed. Obviously, it is kind of like an arcade game, but quite a fun, challenging arcade game. Still worth playing it with the wheel. Um, but I think these are killer ton. I think they deserve a lot of credit because when you look at uh, WRC 5 was the first one I think they done and then it was pretty bad. 6 was a tiny bit better. 7 was much better. Um, still not still not up there but at least they, they, with every game they're at least they seem to take bigger and bigger steps. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they do do WRC 8. Now we know it's not going to be Dirt, Dirt Rally or Codemasters. Um, to see what they do with it. Because if they bought this out as like an arcade game, maybe they might make WRC 8 more of a simulation game. And sort of go that way. Because I don't see why they'd do two rally games of pretty much the same genre. Uh, right next to each other. Um, although... The WRC games are normally out by now, or at least I'm sure it's October they normally come out the last couple, so I wonder if they're going to hold off and wait till the start of the season, um, start the next season and release it in line with that, maybe with that would help with the esports as well, but yeah, but Feed Alley, not bad, not bad, um, probably worth 25-30 quid if you can get it on a sale. I think 44 or however much it's meant to be is a bit steep. I think I got this, the extended version, for 33 on Steam. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like and um, do all that good stuff. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments as well. See if I'm just talking out my bum hole or not. <laughs> um, I'm always, I always try and be optimistic, as, as optimistic as I can with games because... The more we've got, the better. We haven't had any decent rally games for years and years and years, apart from Richard Byrne. So, constructive criticism is the way to go, in my opinion. Let's get people improving their games and, and wanting to bring them out, rather than just brushing them off as being rubbish straight away. And oh, it's not, it's not Richard Byrne's rally, so I'm not going to bother buying it. Let's uh, let's give them a bit of support. Anyway, thanks again for joining, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video.